Hey, what's going on? You're in the secret level here with Gerns, and today I got a video on how to build your own AFK Mimic and Soul Farm. And by souls, I mean souls of light and souls of night. Uh, as well as it works as a great, great money farm too, guys. So kind of like a four-in-one uh, farm, depending on how you look at it, I guess. Uh, so yeah, excellent, excellent farm. Very, very efficient farm. I One I highly, highly recommend. It's one of the farms I use uh, the most often. Uh, so I highly, highly recommend this farm, guys. Uh, anyway, uh, so we'll get to uh, the main benefits of this farm as well as how you're going to want to set it up. And uh, just some of the items that you can expect to get from it as well. Alright, so here we go. So the main benefits are uh, being able to farm the Mimics as well as Souls of Light and Souls of Night. Uh, now, I f first off, I just want to say I highly recommend building this farm ASAP. Uh, even if you haven't unlocked our hard mode yet, uh, consider building it still. Uh, just because it's a farm you're going to want to have uh, pretty much ready to go as soon as hard, mo hard mode excuse me, is unlocked. And uh, that's for a couple reasons. Number one, uh, the Mimics. And Mimics drop a lot of great, great, great loot, uh, like weapons, accessories, and so on, uh, that if you get a hold of it early, it's really, really strong. Uh, so you're definitely going to want to get that, as well as they give you a lot of money early on too, uh, which you might need. Um, so anyway, uh, that's one of the reasons why you kind of want to set it up early, as well as the Souls of Light and Souls of Night. Uh, those are available uh, as soon as hard mode unlocks, and again, they, uh, they're used to make a whole ton of great, great weapons, uh, some nice items as well, and uh, they're also used to make the summoning items to summon the uh, mechanical bosses uh, to spawn them I should say anyway yeah so very important crafting material uh, that you're gonna need a lot of uh, so yeah very efficient farm and you can farm for all of those AFK uh, so a uh, great great way to get it done because those mimics are kinda rare and it sucks looking around for them so it's nice to uh, kinda just you know go get something to eat or something and come back and you've already killed you know like 10 mimics or something like that that's awesome and uh, or you've gotten you know like a uh, hundred souls of whatever you need All right uh, so again it also works great as a uh, money farm too as well if you've already uh, gotten uh, all the items from the mimics or whatever and uh, you just sell them all as well as get a whole bunch of money from the monsters as well it works pretty good that way too all right so uh, that's pretty much as far as the benefits go guys let's get to uh, how you're gonna want to set this place up so the first thing you're going to want to do is head down to the cavern slayer here and uh, that's because that's where souls of light and souls of night will start to spawn. Uh, so if you don't have the uh, death meter here, uh, the way you can tell when you hit the cavern slayer is by the back wall here. You can see that it turns into this blackish grayish color as opposed to this brownish color up here. You can see I'm in the underground now. Uh, so I know it's a little bit difficult to see, uh, So, but just look carefully and you will find it. Okay, uh, so once you're in the caverns layer, just find a convenient place to hollow out a decent sized area here. Um, and uh, I'll go inside my little, uh, my little farm here and uh, I'll, I'll show you the dimensions basically. Okay, uh, so if we take a look at the map here, uh, so from where I'm standing to the sides, you're going to want that to be at least 84 blocks of space, ideally at least. You can make it a little bit less, uh, but not too much, uh, like I wouldn't go below 70. Um, but you want to leave like enough room for monsters to spawn over there. So ideally if there is like a wall there uh, Make it uh, you know at least 84 blocks of space away from you and uh, I don't have to worry about that over here Obviously because there wasn't a wall uh, And uh, as uh, as far as below you goes you want to fill in any caves or holes that are anything within 47 blocks of height from you or space whatever uh, so anything within 47 blocks of space from top to bottom uh, fill in uh, any of those caves in uh, that area here in the, in the entire area basically okay so it shouldn't take too long uh, especially if you have some builder potions I suggest getting some of those all right so once you have that done uh, you just build your classic little pyramid structure here just like this you don't have to make it as big if you don't want to I just wanted to make mine uh, you know nice and roomy and look nice I guess <laughs> and uh, you don't have to make it out of gold brick as well uh, so but once you have that built there uh, you make a little hole in the top here and uh, make sure it's seven blocks wide. Uh, you can be a make, uh, make it a little bit larger if you want. Uh, it's just for so the bats go inside, uh, but I don't have a really a problem. Anyway, um, 
Uh, so you make that seven blocks wide, and the bottom part here is nine blocks wide, just little corners there so that things kind of stay down at the bottom and uh, can't jump up. Uh, yeah, so uh, once you have that done there, throw in uh, some of these conveyor belts here, just so all the loot will roll towards you, and uh, any possible loot that kind of falls outside of it. Uh, some might fall out here during the video, but don't worry about that, because once all the traps are activated, in fact, we'll do that right now. Just turn that on, just uh, so you can see some mimics come. Uh, they should come at some point during this video. Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, once you have that done there, uh, as far as the conveyor belts go, obviously just in case this one here on the right goes to the left and this one on the left goes to the right. Uh, get some traps in there. Um, you're going to want to have a couple spi spiky ball traps, some spear traps, and uh, have some super dark traps and one flame trap there. Uh, you, don't wanna, you don't have to have this many if you don't want to. Uh, you can have a bit less if you want, but this is just what I chose. And uh, make sure those spiky ball traps though are actuated so things can fall through there. Uh, so yeah, and also uh, two regular traps here on the side. Look, there's two Mimics already. Um, so yeah, great, great, great farm for Mimics. Uh, anyway, so yeah, these two little regular dart traps on the bottom corners here, and those are for uh, getting those Mimics to come over here and die. Because uh, when a Mimic spawns, I actually, I, I was making this farm originally just for souls, and I noticed a lot of Mimics were spawning, so I figured, why not? Um, but when they do spawn, they just sit there, unless you damage them or go near them uh, so that's why those traps are there is to damage them and then they'll uh, you know get aggroed over to here into the little trap area and die and drop all that great great mimic loot uh, so but you'll want it to be ideally a uh, regular trap just so that it doesn't do too much damage to the other mobs and uh, kill them over here and drop loot over here that won't uh, automatically go to you uh, so if we take a look at the wiring real quick uh, you can see that uh, uh, these traps up here the killing traps basically are connected to a one second timer as per usual uh, but these traps down here uh, these are connected to a uh, five second timer separately and there's two reasons for that uh, one is because uh, I, I want them to shoot darts as little as possible so that it doesn't knock back these guys uh, very often and uh, also I still want them to shoot though obviously uh, to get the mimics to come uh, and also it is separately connected uh, for a second reason and that's because when I'm farming, farming souls of light and souls of night when this is one of those different biome areas uh, we'll get to that in a second how that works but uh, uh, hollowed mimics as well as crimson or corruption mimics whatever you have will spawn and you don't want to aggro those things they'll also just sit there um, but if you do aggro those things they can go through the blocks and will very easily kill you they do a lot of damage uh, trust me uh, in fact, that's why I have this hollowed mimic here, uh, gravestone, because it killed me before, and uh, it's just there as a reminder. Okay? Uh, <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, you're definitely going to want to turn that off if you're uh, farming those. Uh, so, as, uh, let's get into that now. Uh, so, this block here at the top, turn off the wiring real quick. Uh, this is, uh, you want to have at least 300 blocks of stone up there. You don't have to surround it like gray brick like I did. Um, but uh, anyway, at least uh, 300 blocks of stone up there at the top, and uh, that is for changing the biome. Okay, so the reason why it has to be 300 is because Crimson or Corruption requires at least 300 blocks, and Hollowed only requires 100. And since this, since this is an all-in-one, I can't talk right now, um, you want to have it at least 300. Okay, uh, so in this chest here, I have a contaminator with a bunch of different solutions there. And uh, let's say I want to change it to, uh, you know, let's say I need uh, uh, Souls of Night. So I grab my crimson, or my red solution there, because I have a crimson world. And uh, well, I'm just going to turn off this five second timer, just to make sure that no uh, crimson uh, mimics come at me. There's another mimic there, and another mimic there. Uh, so great for mimics. So I spray this here, and it changes the biome, as you can see. Ah, sorry guys, I just took a drink. Uh, so I just come back here, and now, as you can see, it spawns Souls of Night. Nice and convenient. Alright, uh, so let's say I need Souls of Light now. I know I have enough of those. And if you don't want to see this part, guys, you can just fast forward through it. I'm just doing it just in case people want to see it, uh, just, you know, so they know it works. 
Alright, so, whoops. Now that I have my uh, blue solution, just put it up here. Spray that there. Oh, I'm gonna die. Uh, <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, you wanna do that quick, guys. Don't die. Oops. Alright. Uh, so now that it is a uh, hollowed biome, you can see that it's starting to uh, summon some of the uh, uh, hollowed uh, monsters. It doesn't summon all the monsters though, it still stays uh, the regular cave monsters. Uh, but you don't have to worry because as you can see, everything has a chance to drop those souls, which is the main purpose obviously. At least when you're changing the biome. Uh, so yeah, and you'll also still get great loot too, like uh, this magic mirror uh, from these skeletons too. Uh, so yeah, great, great efficient farm because now you can get all the souls uh, as well as reg regular mimic loot all in one farm. Uh, so awesome, awesome setup, guys. Uh, so yeah, and uh, just a uh, couple small things, I guess. Turn that off now. You're going to want to throw in the uh, uh, 80 jungle bricks there. I'm not sure if you can hear the background music, but it's jungle music. And uh, that's just to increase the spawn rate, uh, increases the spawn rate dramatically. Uh, so you get a bunch more monsters spawning. It makes it much more efficient. Uh, you get a couple jungle bats there too, but that doesn't really matter. They die easily. Uh, and they still drop souls too, so you're all good in that uh, in that area there. As well as your water candle for the same reason, the spawn rate. Um, and uh, yeah. Uh, so inside this chest too, you might want to keep a couple battle potions. Uh, just for convenience. And, uh, yeah, and, oh, I guess I'll mention this small part here, just in case you're wondering. This is optional, though. Uh, this is just my little chlorophyte patch. Uh, I have a main chlorophyte farm, though, that is more efficient for specifically if I want chlorophyte. Um, but I just have this here for extra efficiency, so when I do come here, I can grab some extra chlorophyte. Uh, because if you guys don't know, when you're in the caverns layer or below, uh, chlorophyte ore will change mud blocks into extra chlorophyte. Uh, so as you can see here, I put four little seeds there, chlorophyte seeds, and uh, 36 mud blocks there, because I think the max is like 40 or 41 or 2 or something like that. Uh, but I just put 36, so it's a square. And uh, yeah, over time it will change it into extra chlorophyte, so while I'm here, I can just grab some chlorophyte uh, to make it even more efficient. Yeah, and uh, just in this chest here, extra mud, so that when I do grab the chlorophyte, I can replace it with more mud block. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm pretty sure that's as far as the setup goes there, guys. Two more quick things, actually, guys. Uh, so the first one here being pretty important, actually. So this little guy right here is the Skeleton Merchant. And this guy can possibly spawn in the Cavern Layer biome uh, when it's just the, your regular area. When you don't have it crimsified, corruptified, or hollified, basically. Uh, yeah, so if this guy is here, you're going to want to make sure he's dead. Uh, before uh, you change it to any other biome basically because if you change it to any other biome and he is still there basically you can see some of the monsters are starting to kill him now so that's all you have to do to get him dead just kind of go slightly off screen monsters will spawn there and basically kill him uh, so anyway yeah you're you're gonna want to make sure he's dead though before you change the biome like I said because what he will do if he's still alive is he will uh, aggro actually those um, it's almost dead. He will aggro those super strong biome mimics and and you don't want that because those things will kill you. They will go through the bricks and kill you. You definitely don't want to ha that to happen uh, and it confused me for uh, quite some time before I figured out what was going on. I didn't know why they were getting aggroed. Anyway, yeah, so make sure he's dead and even after you uh, like spray your bricks here, for example, if you set it up exactly like I did, uh, just kind of take a look around and uh, make sure he didn't spawn as you were moving around to change the biome because uh, he could have potentially just spawned right then and there uh, yeah so now he's dead as you can see he's gone uh, yeah so you want to do that just to make sure and uh, the second thing is just uh, you know you might notice a couple souls will just be floating in the air uh, that you didn't end up gathering uh, when you come back from being AFK and don't worry about that because they won't take up like a maximum amount of item limits or anything like that uh, because of the fact that uh, they kind of just gather together as you can see that that one there is a pile of 11 and uh, yeah so that won't happen they'll just be like a couple piles there but they'll be uh, pretty large in quantity probably and uh, you can just pick them up afterwards when you, once you come back All right so just thought I'd throw that in there for you guys so now just real quick we'll go through some of the loot that you can uh, expect to get. Uh, not all of it though because uh, I don't want to make this video too long. 
Uh, so you can get the red husk here. That's a great die item. Because uh, obviously right here, these little red beetles will spawn and drop those too. Uh, as well as the depth meter, uh, the marrow, the star cloak, great accessory. Uh, it's used to make uh, the uh, eventually the star necklace, a uh, great, great accessory. Uh, obviously your souls, philosopher's stone, and uh, that's used eventually to make the charm of myths, another great accessory. Um, so yeah, and the titan glove, a uh, couple hooks, a bunch of hooks, two different kinds of hooks I guess. Uh, yellets, more yellets, the metal detector, uh, armor polish, the magic quiver, uh, that's an awesome ranged accessory. And uh, yeah, also a uh, blessed apple. That's a great, great uh, unicorn mount. You get that when it's uh, the hollow biome. All right, guys, so that's just some of the items you're gonna get. Uh, plus you get to craft a whole bunch of great items as well too uh, with these souls. Uh, so, but again, that's only some of the items. I don't wanna go through all of them because I don't wanna make this video too long. Uh, yeah. All right, guys, so that's how you build your own AFK mimic and soul farm. Uh, so again, I highly recommend building this farm ASAP as you want to get all those mimic items and uh, all those items you craft with the souls as early as possible into hard mode because they're really really strong in early hard mode uh, so yeah they help out a lot uh, and also I just want to stress uh, when you are changing the biome from regular to whatever else make sure that that skeleton merchant is dead uh, even after you've changed it just take a quick look around to make sure that he didn't just suddenly spawn there um, and yeah make sure he's dead because he will aggro those biome mimics and kill and get you killed uh, and you don't I don't want that to happen to you because uh, that would get you angry at me and that would suck all right <laughs> so uh, so yeah um, I've never ever seen him spawn in any other biome other than the underground the skeleton merchant uh, so as long as he's not there once you've changed the biome you should be fine okay uh, all right so uh, that's the video guys I hope it helped and uh, of course leave a like if it did help that way I know I'm helping some people out and uh, subscribe here to the secret level and join me Gerns always doing uh, tons of fun videos like this so uh, there'll be more videos to come uh, so you're going to want to uh, stick around for that all right so uh, anyway I uh, hope to see you next time guys and this is Gerns exiting the secret level take it easy